Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of I'm No Guru. You can call me Kat and today I'll be showing you how I make kwe siput. Now kwe siput is a traditional Malaysian snack and directly translated it means snail cakes. However, they're more of a savoury snack so we can just call them snail snacks. Unfortunately, they're not made of snails as the name suggests but the name comes from the way that they're shaped. They're quite easy to make and the ingredients are not so difficult to obtain but they are time consuming in the sense that it takes a lot of time to shape the dough into mini snails. I'll be using a pestle and motor to grind the ingredients which is the traditional way in which these crunchy little snacks are made. So let's get cracking! Here are the ingredients that you will need. Two dried chilies, two stalks of curry leaves, half a tablespoon of brown fennel, half a tablespoon of brown coriander, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of garam masala, three tablespoons of dried shrimp, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, half an onion. Remove the stalks from the curry leaves, cut the chilies into pieces and chop the onions. And now for the piece de resistance, the pestle and motor. I combine all the ingredients that I listed just now and pound them into a pulpy mush using a pestle and motor. Now if you don't have a pestle and motor, you can always just go by the modern method and that is to just use a blender. But the beauty of using a pestle and motor is that you can control how fine you want the ingredients to be. Another thing with using a pestle and motor is that you have this unique flavour and possibly minerals that probably come from the granite that the equipment is made from. Once you have pounded all the ingredients, it should look something like this. And now for the other ingredients. They are 400 grams of flour, 1 egg and 100 grams of margarine. With your fingers, just create breadcrumbs with the margarine and gradually make sure that everything is blended in well. Once you have done that, you can add in roughly about half a cup of water, but put this in gradually. Don't put everything in because you want to look at the consistency of the dough. It should be even coloured all around. The next stage is to shape the dough into lovely little snails. I use a fork but you can actually use a traditional shaper which is a block of wood that has grooves in it. This is definitely a slightly faster method than using a fork because the grooves are close together and it's easy to get the shape going. Whereas with a fork it does take a bit longer and it's quite difficult to press and create the shapes. What I usually do after this is just sit in front of the telly with my favourite program or movie and just keep on shaping the little snails. Now have the pan heated up and some extra curry leaves which will be used to be fried together with the mini snails. You have to make sure that the fire is not so high and quite low because you don't want your snacks to be dark on the outside and undercooked on the inside and what you do is place the snails in a pan of hot oil and continually stir the mixture add in the curry leaves and wait for the bubbles to subside you shouldn't panic when you start to see the oil froth because this is perfectly uh, normal. I suppose this is due to the spices that are possibly in the mixture. They should turn a golden brown colour and just use a kitchen towel to dry off the excess oil. By the end of this, you should have crunchy curry leaves and really nice and delicious snail snacks or quasi food. Again, 
I really hope you liked this video and if you have any other comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Meanwhile, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Till the next episode, bye!